Hey everybody, this is Chris, and we are going to take the Hubson Xeno Pro Plus and change out the new style barometer that they have. So as you see, the cable is broken on this one. This is one I'm repairing for somebody else. Uh, I have done a lot more to this, but the last thing to do would be changing out this broken barometer. So I finally have the new one. It arrived and uh, we're going to install it. And the reason I want to show you this is because it is a different style. If you look, the cable and the barometer are all one piece. So it's just one piece. It's not like what we used to have where the cable was separate. And then now you have the thermal compound on top. Some of you may have noticed with your uh, Xeno Pro Plus that you'll see that uh, on the screen it'll say the barometer is warming up. And um, so evidently there must be some sort of temperature that it looks for that it needs to be. And then the thermal compound is to stop it from overheating. Just my guess. I don't, I don't know any other reason why they would have thermal compound on there. So we're going to take it off, but you just simply remove two screws here and here. And then take it off. Now in this case it's already broken, it's already unplugged. But I'll show you the new one as we do it. And what we're going to do... Now my metal plate, none of that's on there. I left that off because the light reflects it. But put that on first. I'm going to do everything on the quad. That way I line it up nice and square. Even though I have this square here, I, I want to do it on the quad, I think. It's my first time doing one, so. Comes with new screws. And let me get the proper screwdriver. You have two different types. So we want to put them aside. And this is the ones we're looking for. To put into here. So we're going to get that fastened nice and secure. And this does not take long, but there's certain things that you will not have that you should have on hand. And one of them is the thermal compound. It does not come with any thermal compound. Here we have uh, it's MX4 thermal compound made by Ar Arctic. So I have this nice and secure now. And then I'm going to put down my tape, my foam, sticky foam. And you want that to be nice and as square as possible. You don't want to put it in all cock. And I'm going to try to do this where I can see. And you want to get try to get it right the first time because it's going to stick really well. Okay, so that's in. And now we can peel the other section off. And there we are. So that's all ready. And then we simply are going to take this, line it up nice and square. Very hard for me with the camera. But we got it. And just give it a little press, and there we are. One of your hardest things to do is plug this plug in here <laughs> with the board intact. It's much easier when the board's out, but we're going to do it without removing the board. So we're lining it up. It's a little longer than the other one, so it, they, it does make it hard. It's a little longer than the old style. And again, I can't see, but we'll get it. You want to be careful with this cable. And you could, you know, I could have plugged it in prior to sticking it on the board. Maybe that would have been easier. I'd rather have the, the board stuck first. Plus there's still some glue on this board that's in my way. Let's get a screwdriver here and 
see if that'll help. Okay, so we are secure. Lay the cable down. And then this cover has an opening, so when you put it on, the cable sticks out the side. So now we're going with the thermal compound. And this has a little tool to spread it. And we're just going to apply that on there. like so and my lid and then just kind of spread it around a little bit doesn't have to be beautiful And I may have put a little more on than what they had on to begin with. But I also did that on my quad. I put extra on mine. And it didn't hurt anything. So I do have more than what they have on theirs. But I don't think it's going to hurt anything. We can see if we can scrape a little bit off here. I'm happy with that. I'm fine with that. So that's all on. Now we just want to put this cover here on. Then we got two more screws. To secure that in place. And that's that. So from there, you're just going to put your metal plate back on. You, you'll lift this off to the side, put your metal plate back on. Typically, your metal plate would have already been on, but again, I didn't want to have it on because as you can see, this one's reflecting the light, and I didn't want to have it reflecting light right here. So typically, put that metal plate back in place, then put this on, and you're in good shape. And that's, that's all you need to do. Once you've done this and you're all, all secure, um, do your horizontal calibration. It doesn't hurt to do a compass calibration, but do a proper horizontal calibration on a flat level surface away from any magnetic or, or heavy metallic objects. And uh, take your first test flight nice and close. Keep it close to you and look for any odd behavior and uh, the thing you need to remember is uh, one more thing besides buying this i don't have the piece of foam that normally would sit here uh, you can glue this down but they also have a piece of foam that normally sits on top of it like this i'm not going to take this one but i'm going to cut a piece of foam and stick on top of there so you want to get some sort of foam like this and put on top of there. And then it doesn't hurt to hot glue that in place as well. So you can put a little dab of hot glue on there and uh, or use the um, white silicone, electronic silicone. You can put that on there and uh, you'll be good to go. So that is how you replace the new barometer style 
for the Hubson Zeno Pro Plus and it's the same type of barometer uh, not the same exact model but the same thing where you have to use the thermal compound it's the same thing for the Zeno 2 and the Zeno 2 Plus so that's that real quick simple one for you guys and uh, thanks for watching I hope this works out for everybody and uh, stay tuned for the next how-to video coming up in the future take care